I love me. I love everything about myself. But the reason why I want to get into this field is because there are not a lot of doctors that look like this. They look like this. Because if my mom lets me wear it, what made you think I'm listening to you? Time to wake up. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. Hey guys, my name is Kanaja Nazor and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can hear by my voice, I sound really congested. I'm not sick or anything, it's just my allergies are really like beating me up. As you can see, like I can barely breathe right now. Like it's really, really bad. I have really, really bad seasonal allergies. So that is the reason why I sound so congested and so sick. And I'm like a little delayed, like I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be recording a YouTube video, but I am home alone and I am bored. And I was like, why not do the YouTube video that I had in mind in the first place? So that's why I am doing this YouTube video and my slow, okay. Anyways, I asked you guys on my Instagram story what kind of questions you guys have for me for my next YouTube video because I was going to do a QA and a as you can read by the title. Um, so I did get a few questions. I'm not going to do too much again because like I said, my allergies are really kicking my butt. So I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to do a few questions. So the first one is what is your biggest fear? Um, I'm actually a very scary person. Like I don't like I, everything scares me. Bugs, a spot, anything scares me. But my biggest fear, I think, would possibly be being trapped in one of those mirror rooms. Like you know how you go to a carnival or let me stop touching my hair. You know how you go to like a carnival, uh, no, no, a carnival and it's a it's a room with a bunch of mirrors you have to try to escape yeah being stuck in that is absolutely scary by myself like being stuck in stuff like that scares me i don't know but i'm also scared of um the ocean i would hate to be smack dab in the middle of a circle of boats like i would just drown myself because that's scary um Favorite food. My favorite food is crab legs. I love me a good crab leg. I love me a good seafood boil. If I had the opportunity to give away one of my cousins on my daddy's side for a lifelong supply of crab legs, I promise you I would take that chance as soon as I got it. So if any of you guys want to give me the opportunity, I would be glad to take it um when's your birthday my birthday is april 19th i'm aries i am the last day i think they consider for aries so i am mm, i don't know just that girl <laughs> but yes my birthday is april 19th um please say the date it's only next year so you have a few, you have time you know um age i'm 17 17 is such a black age like i don't understand like telling people like oh i'm 17 is like i'm, I'm 17 like 16 16 is like oh i'm 16 i'm finally able to do you know a little bit of adult stuff. Seventeen is like a I don't know. I don't know. I'm seventeen. Like it's it's nothing too much to it. It's just what it is. Next question. What is something you are passionate about? I am really passionate about school and my education. Okay. I take school very, very, very seriously. Like that's something that I do not play with. Um, school is really important to me. I've never been the type of person that was like, I might say like, I hate this school 
because like something might have happened to me at that school that which made me hate it but i've never been the type of person to hate school if that makes sense like i love school <laughs> i love school and it's always it's always like the um the trickiest subjects that are hard for other people are easy or come easy to me i don't know i really really love school that's just me i'm that type of person um so the next so another question is what is your dream school i don't i had a dream school my dream school was howard university and then tiktok scared me with their um saying that they ran out of rooms for the and new incoming students that they had at the time and i was just like and people were sleeping in tents and stuff like that and i was just like uh yeah i have until 2023 to get it together because i really want to go there but as of right now i don't have a dream school i think what would be can will be a great answer for this question is the fact that any school that's at hbcu is my dream because i've been in predominantly white schools for 97 percent of my life because i just i went to a more urban high school my freshman year but I've been to a lot of schools where I was surrounded by white people and I feel like HBCU is giving me an opportunity to actually be one with people like me, which I will greatly appreciate. Um, wait, no, because there's another one that, I was, that goes with this. What is your take on college? Um, when I got this question, I was like, uh, I don't know how to answer that. But um, my take on college, college is a scam. I don't know. College is not a scam. I don't think it's a scam. I think it's, college is a scam. But I will be putting my money into that scam, if that makes sense. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, yeah, college, is ridiculously expensive but i'm willing to pay for my college because i do want a higher education and in, in order to live the american dream you do need to go to college you need to further your education so it's like my opinion on it is different than what i would actually what i'm actually going to do i don't know if that makes sense because i'm confusing myself shit Anyways, my take on college is cool. No, I I watch like stuff on I don't know. I be on TikTok like twenty five so, but my point of view of college is based on TikTok. Is it because I've never been to college? I'm still in high school, like you know all that. I'm about to be a senior, so I don't really know anything about college. I'm just now thinking about colleges that I want to go to. So, um, they make college seem like it's like a Part. like I always thought oh my gosh I'm gonna go to college I'm gonna be away from my family I get to party I get to do adult stuff semi-adult stuff because I'm still gonna be very dependent on my mother I promise you but like semi-adult stuff you know what I'm saying I don't know my take on college is like a hopeless romantic take on relationships I don't know <laughs> I'm confusing myself okay what no i answered that uh what is something you love about yourself um i love the fact that i actually what do i love about myself i love me like i don't like i don't know if i can pick anything in particular that i love about myself i'm not gonna go off like appearance wise i'm gonna go like about like deep you know so what i love about myself now like i really love this is that I don't seek like revenge and getting my lick back is not something that I seek. I'm not that type of person. I used to be the type of person where it's like, if you do me wrong, I gotta do wrong. I gotta make you hurt 50 times harder. You know what I'm saying? But I've actually grew up a lot of it. And I don't know, like revenge is not something that I seek. And I've been done wrong a couple times lately and I still am able to forgive and just be like 
it is what it is like i'm not gonna go and make you hurt how you hurt me because that's just that's not kind and i'm not like a mean person so i don't want people to, like have the opportunity to go and tell people like oh she did this to me and so i just brush it off like i don't i don't seek revenge i might be hurt i would probably ignore you but other than that i'm not going to try to break you how you broke me i think i love that the most about myself now because this generation is all about that magic energy and get that lick back um trend and that's just i'm i can't follow that so i do love that um i don't think that's the right answer to that question <laughs> i'm like so tired i have not slept it is literally what time is it it's, it's literally 109 in the afternoon and I am so tired. I have not slept. Well, I slept last night, but I have not took a nap. And I took some allergy medicine and it got me all like drowsy and like, mm, like I need to, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I might not post this video because I need to do this when I'm not drowsy from medication. <sighs> let me let me re answer that one. What do I love about myself? I love the fact that. I love me. I love everything about myself. And then appearance wise, I glowed up and it's like, I don't know. I love everything about me. Not in a conceited way, just in like a, a healed, happy way. Yeah. Girl, I'm going to fall asleep on this video. Somebody said, what made you start YouTube? So, I've always wanted to do YouTube, and all honesty, I just, the consistency, I think, was the biggest thing. And one thing about me is I can't, when I'm mentally not okay, like right now I'm physically not okay, but mentally I'm like really, really happy. That's why I'm on this camera. But when I'm mentally unhappy, I cannot sit in a camera and fake like I'm happy or fake like I'm in a good mood. I'm sick right now, but... Mm, I'm gonna go to move, you know. Um, so I was going through a lot, and I wasn't just in the mood to do YouTube a while ago. Like now, I'm in a nice place mentally, physically, emotionally, and that's why I'm willing to do YouTube. I have YouTuber friends, and they are the ones that be like, you like they were like, you need to start a YouTube channel, like you need to vlog this, you need to record this, and I used to be like yeah but i don't know if i want that to be my first youtube video and it'll be on me about it on me on me on me until i finally started it my friends are like the biggest reason why i post videos on this youtube video and my friend she's in my liver my friend is the reason why i'm recording this youtube video right now because <laughs> i would be asleep what do you want to do for a career so when I grow up, I would like to be an obstetrician, gynecologist, and in short, simple terms, that is a JJ doctor. I don't like the B word. I look at my hair because I don't like that word. So we just say JJ. okay? So it's the JJ doctor that a lot of women go to before pregnancy, during pregnancy, after pregnancy. The reason why I want to get into this field is because there are not a lot of doctors that look like this. They look like this. <laughs> That's not funny. Um, so, mm -hmm. and the birth mortality rate for women of this skin color is very, very high compared to women of this skin color. So I would like to get into the field and try to make a difference one woman at a okay yes but anyways that is my dream career and that is what i'm gonna stick with i'm gonna be in school for the longest i won't have a life what well, school will be my life but i'm sticking to it you know if i want to if i want to do something i'm gonna do it and that's what i want to do um what is your job this question was kind of confusing doesn't mean like what kind of job do i have well, I'll answer it that way because I don't know what I meant. Anyways, what kind of job do I have? I have three jobs. As a 17-year-old, I am working three jobs for no reason. I don't 
not like I don't I'm not in a diehard need for money I just want to spend it on the necessary stuff which is why I have three jobs for my first job I work in a hair salon and in the hair salon we specialize in natural hair curls and coils and kinks my second job is actually a paid internship but it's a summer job so it lasts pretty much the summer I'm only doing it because my senior friends are doing it and I want to hang out with them before they leave to college. So I have that job and then I also work in a shoe store. Those are my three jobs. Um, they're pretty cool in all honesty. And for me, I'm the person that like, I need to stay busy. If I'm not busy, I'm complaining or I'm miserable. So me having three jobs and I had two jobs, no, I had I had two jobs during the school year, which was that internship because it started like during the school year and the hair salon. I've been working in the hair salon for almost a year. It'll be a year in August. So me balancing like a bunch of stuff is something that I need. That like that keeps me driven. So I have no problem with having three jobs. It's not like a, a stressful thing for me because I need it in order to be mentally sane. Favorite brand to shop from? I like Fashion Nova because I am a curvy individual. And I just, I don't know, everything, like this top right here is from Fashion Nova. And as you can see, I have my no wrist. So um, <laughs> I love to shop from Fashion Nova. I don't know. It fits my body, it, it fits my curls, it curves, it snugs them. And that is my favorite brand. I'm, Mm hmm yeah sneaker wise i like jordans i don't know much about jordans but i know that i love the retro fours those are the only sneakers that i will buy and i'm about to go purchase some more because i want some more um so those are like my two favorite brands other than that i don't know much oh i love polo how could i forget polo i love polo oh my gosh it's expensive but it's so cute i got some polo jeans i just recently got them the men's polo jeans because i'm doing it for instagram hold up stay tuned <laughs> no for real though stay tuned because i don't even know what i'm gonna wear with that i just bought it because i wanted to take a photo in it um what type of house do you want to live in so for starters i don't want to live in a house i don't like houses houses scare me i don't know like they're just too big and how i see myself in the future i don't expect to be living with a man until i'm married you know so i will be living alone for the majority of my life plus i'm gonna always be busy and i won't be i won't even be home when i'm older because i'm gonna be traveling so I would love to live in a pet house. Like, that's all I want. I would even live in a pet house with kids, even though that's not fair. I would like to raise kids in a house, but that's going to happen when I'm married. So we could talk about that in like, in, like, 20 years. So for now, like, I'm thinking about fresh, like, college, after college maybe, like, during that time, I want to live in a pet house. That is my future living situation. And I dream of that. That has always been my dream. I never wanted a house. I never wanted a house. I always wanted an apartment or a penthouse, a luxury apartment, something of that nature, you know? Um, are you single? Yeah. I am... <laughs> my love life is... Mm -mm. I've been single for a long time now. And I like it. I'm too young to be worried about a boy that is a growing boy at that. Um, I'm single. I'm living life. Cruising. I could wear what I want. As long as my mom allows it. And I don't have to worry about no boy telling me that I can't wear it. Because if my mom lets me wear it, what made you think I'm going to listen to you, boy? Please. <laughs> No, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't want one either because of what I say. So I'm not traumatized, but I'm just taking a break. Um, you guys are really, really, really annoying.
single, not entertaining anyone because boys have cooties. So, um, me and God have been chilling lately. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the last question because your girl is like about to fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so drowsy. Oh my gosh. Last question. Is Tanaja Nazora your real name? Tanaja Nazora is my real name. It is not my full name, but Tanaja is my first name. Nazora is my middle name. Like, that's, that's really my name, but I didn't include my last name because... But my first name and middle name sounds like a famous person's name. So I like it. I like it a lot. And that is what I call myself. And that is on every single one of my social medias. So Tanaja Nador is a real person. She is me. I am her. Okay. Like I don't know why people think that's not my name. Like people think that I made Nazora up. It's literally on my school email. There it says Tanaja Nazora blank. Which is my last name. So we're not going to say that. So yes Tanaja Nazora is my name. It's my name. That's me. Um, that's my brand. She that my brand is my name. But anyways, I am drowsy. It is time for me to go to sleep because my allergies are not dealing with tip. Like today is not my day right now. My hair looks crazy too. I should have changed my hair style for this video. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I will be more consistent. I'm trying to post every Sunday. I will try. I will try my best. To make that a thing to post every sunday okay that i'm recording this on a saturday so i'm about to go record i'm about to go edit this and post it tomorrow <laughs> so please bear with me okay i'm trying to be consistent because i actually like recording anyways thank you guys so much for watching my youtube video i want to thank you guys for tuning in and i hope to see you next time i would like to get to know